Check it out. Good morning. So today is one of the last days my students will be working on their unit menus. And I've been doing some thinking about how to track my students' progress through each of the activities offered in the menu and just assuring and checking in that the kids are okay with each section. So I have done something a little bit different this time around and I like it a lot. So I figured I would share it with all of you today. So I'm gonna head into school, make some copies of the formative assessments that I need, and then I'll share what I'm doing all along the way. period one two class um, the first period was lab and then the second period they worked on their menu um, I like to give them a formative assessment after every section of the menu so they were finishing their empirical and molecular formula section so I gave them the last 10 minutes of class to take a formative it's just a real like quick like one question formative just gives them um, a chance to demonstrate their knowledge and skills so far and then I like to grade it and then give it back to the kids so that they have some feedback because their assessment their summative assessment assessment is actually scheduled for Friday. So I'm going to grade this, which shouldn't take too long because I try to keep them short and sweet. It's just a half page, one question thing. on Wednesday. It was a great day, of course, very busy as I always say, because it really is. I feel like I have absolutely no downtime, um, especially with my cart and moving in between classes. And then of course I had lab today as well, but both my CP class and my honors classes were working on their unit menu on the mole. Um, obviously, and when I mentioned in last week's episode, they're both working on different topics within the mole. So with the honors kids, they're doing a lot more conversions. Um, they're doing empirical molecular formulas and things like that. Um, with the CP, we're just kind of just stopping with the conversions. So we're doing the one-step conversions and the two-step conversions. Um, and um, I felt like I needed to um, do a little bit more reflecting on how I run unit menus in the CP class. And what inspired me to do this was actually some of my um, buyers on Teachers Pay Teachers. One of the things that the buyers that are using my menus in their classes are saying is that they wish they had a way to keep track of the assignments. And in my mind, I actually felt like that wasn't really necessary. And the reason why was because after every section, there is a formative assessment. And so you can very clearly see whether or not the students put the work in for that section just by giving them the formative. And then what I do is I put the formative in the grade book. But nonetheless, there were still some teachers that wanted to be able to document every single assignment that the kids were doing. So what I opted to do this time around is create a um, sheet that basically kept track of all the assignments that the kids were working on throughout the menu. So I thought I'd show you what this looks like and then I'll talk a little bit about my reflections. Here is the student activity tracker that I made for my unit menu on the mole. And um, I spent a lot of time typing in all the different activities that the students were working on and kind of divvying up all the different parts. 
Then what I did is I created a space for the student name so that I can um, just record their name in the space and then check off what they did. I also tried to make the boxes a little bit larger so that I would have room to be able to write some notes in it. Um, and then I did split it up into parts. So for example, you can see that this is part one, part two, and part three. The only thing that I really didn't like is I probably should have made some of the lines a little bit darker. So it was hard for me to see what was part of part one and what was part of part two um, but nonetheless that is definitely something I'm gonna fix for next time I even included the enrichment section and checked off who attempted the enrichment as well overall I think it was a very effective strategy for keeping track I also in some ways felt that the students were a little bit more on task knowing that I was walking around with a clipboard checking off the things that they were doing and interacting with them I mean I always walked around and I always was helping the kids as they went through each um, part of the menu However, to have documentation I think is really valuable, especially in a climate where kids are becoming more accustomed to this idea of second chance learning. You wanna make sure that you have documentation that would allow them to partake in some sort of second chance or retest. Um, so I definitely see the value in it. I also really like this because I was allowed to check in the, with the kids more frequently. With a unit that's very math heavy like the mold, there's a certain way that we want our kids to show their work. And I insist that the kids use dimensional analysis. So by checking in with the kids after each section of the menu, I was able to see that they were in fact showing their work appropriately. And if they weren't, I was able to fix that. Um, so it really allowed me to interact with them more frequently. And then I felt like um, I was able to document more thoroughly the choices that the kids were making so that I was able to say, okay, like the kids really like the card sorts that I do, or they really like the videos. And so that gives me potential for making more choices on the next unit menu that I'm making. So the good news is, is that after I now know what a valuable tool this is, I am definitely going to be including this in every single unit menu that I have posted on my site. Um, I am thinking about posting a template as well in my template unit menu, um, but I think have to think about how to do that. But um, you can definitely expect in the near future, if you've purchased any unit menus from me, you will definitely see those updates. So I hope this video gave you some inspiration for using unit menus and how to track the progress of your students as you go through the menus. If you are already doing this, I would love to know if there's any tweaks or things that you're doing with your kids that make it easier to keep track of everything. Please feel free to leave a comment comment down below. Either way, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I'll definitely check in with you next week.